Hey Tauruses and welcome. We are going to be doing your reading. This is a timeless reading so please remember it may may not resonate. Also there's a giveaway starting as well in 10 days time so if you are interested stay tuned. Don't forget to smash like, share and of course subscribe. Hit the notification because it will be on my community post what you need to do and all the good stuff. Okay so Tauruses let's get your overall energy and see what's going on. We will go into your recent past, current and then near future. We'll pull out some advice cards and we'll see what's going on. All right, Tauruses. You've got the King of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's somebody who is very unemotional, um, emotionally imbalanced, <laughs> okay? This is somebody who's emotionally imbalanced, but also this is definitely somebody, okay, who um, can be emotionally a little bit manipulative as well, all right? But this is not somebody who is emotionally available, okay? Okay, and then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. Oh dear. Got the Devil card at the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, okay. Whoever you've been dealing with is certainly an immature brat. <laughs> okay this person definitely doesn't seem to want to grow from their little bubble okay and i feel like it's giving you these this kind of like energy that you're coming into here okay with having to be a little bit firm a little bit rough with this person and a little bit rude this could be the other person as well but i feel because there's some kind of emotional unavailability because of this immaturity this person has is, is not ready for love. This person doesn't have love to give. So it kind of does feel here, okay, that there is this energy of you needing to be a little bitchy towards this person. Not in a bad way, but it just feels like you need to be a little bitchy with this person in order for you to actually, I want to say, the, what's that called? um sometimes you have to be a little bit sour because you're trying to make this person realize is this person going to realize though because they're showing up as the devil and the page okay let's go to your recent past let's get straight into this recent past for tauruses recent past for taurus things Right, give me some time to get used to these cards, then you, it's the vice versa deck. Uh, we have the pay, um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Emperor, I'm sure this is the Emperor, no, Four of Pentacles in reverse. That's a lot of reversals. What else? We have the Lovers in reverse. We have the devil. That's not in the reverse. Hello, devil. Could be the Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. It could be a Gemini as well. Or somebody with a lot of that in the top. Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We have. The Justice card in reverse. <coughs> I 
I think as much as you're trying to heal from a situation that's no longer working out for you um, and between you and this person or the situation, as much as you're trying to heal and you're trying to um, let go of this um, painful separation and ending, I want to say that you're kind of still reminiscing and some part of you is still holding on to the pain. Okay? Because there's this like worry, there's this confusion, there's this worry, there's this inability to make a decision. And even though it feels very, very unfair for the most part, okay, and feels like an injustice has happened, you're waiting for karma to kick this person's ass because it feels like until it doesn't, you won't be able to heal. And this person, I feel like they are definitely a very unstable person, okay? If it doesn't feel like they have a firm foundation or a solid foundation, it does feel like they've done this quite a few times in this connection where they've walked away or they've tried to run away from their feelings or work on the connection. Instead of working on the connection, it's like they just, they go, they do it, okay? Could be dealing with a Cancerian. <coughs> And it does feel, for the most part, that this person ha may have other options. And that is the reason for them leaving, moving, going. It's like they always tend to have a backup person. Okay? That's what it feels like. So you may, know, you may have noticed that this person was quite sneaky, maybe, or maybe this person was quite private. This person doesn't like to open up. Um, when they go, they leave, they don't want to say where they're going, and maybe they make excuses that, you know, they're emotionally not okay right now, and, you know. So, again, it just feels like a very toxic kind of um, person, okay? Like, this person, like I said, just doesn't seem to be ready for love. They're not ready to fall in love. They don't, perhaps they don't even believe in love. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. <coughs> Sorry, you all. I had COVID last week, so I'm trying to recover and the after effects. All right, let's see what this 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 um, Knight of Cups is. Four of Swords. Yeah, this person might be making excuses saying that they need time to themselves and they need to, you know, heal and, you know, there may be some gaslighting going on here and every time there is, they just walk away and they're kind of like, I need some time for myself and stuff like this. But, <laughs> they keep coming back. So, they create this toxic cycle. They create this toxic cycle where they make you feel like you need them. But it's actually the other way around. They need you. Because when they don't have the others, they just come running back. Let's see what this four of pentacles in reverse is. The knight of cups in reverse. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that. No bloody way. This person holds back because they retreat. They're too scared to face their own emotions. This person could be quite manipulative. I'm still getting that very strongly. I swear if that devil comes out again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this person has everything that they possibly could want. That The Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This person has everything they could possibly want. So I feel like a lot of the time there's excuses that are coming through from this person more than anything. I feel like they're trying to find um, an excuse to just exit 
whenever they need to. That's what it feels like because I feel like this person Head of Cups in Reverse. Are you freaking kidding me? With the, the, the lovers in Reverse. No. Oh yeah. There's a lot of secrets. Pisces energy come through. That's a lot of secrets this person's hiding from you. And I think you know. <coughs> I think intuitively you know. There's that nagging feeling in Tauruses and you need to listen to it. Let's see what this devil card is. Now, this person is playing games with you, Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's your energy there. This person may have made you feel like you are not marriage material, wife material, husband material. Yeah, see? If they kind of make you feel like you need to be dependent on this person. And maybe you are to some extent because that's what they make you feel. Let's go into the near future. No. No. Mm -mm. This is not good. It's not good, Taurus. Gotta escape from that. Gotta, you gotta exit. You got the moon card coming up in reverse. You've got the two of pentacles. You got the two of pentacles. And you got the temperance in reverse. One more. And you have the sun card in reverse. To the near future i don't see this connection working out it's a very unhealthy connection taurus let me put it out there now for you okay it's causing a lot of illusions it's causing a lot of fears and insecurities okay um and even though okay i want to say this okay taurus is that whenever you start to listen to your intuition or you know that you are right to some extent this person gaslights you and puts you back in this darkness again okay with this moon card in reverse it's almost like they are trying to suck you in to this abyss okay which is not healthy it is not healthy you are left in a limbo deciding whether or not you should return back to this person or whether you should stay where you are okay and even though you think everything is balanced because this person makes it out to be balanced, but hell no. There's no balance in this connection at all, Taurus, okay? It's called run, okay? It's called run. You have the temperance in reverse. This person has all their shit together. They've sorted out everything that they need to. But you see this here? This person is trying to make you feel like you need them, okay? This person's trying to make it out like you uh, need that because they are your strength but Taurus you have your own strength you have your own strength okay and you're turning back on your own strength because you're starting to doubt yourself that's what it is okay and with the sun card in reverse it's making you feel down it's making you feel depressed and it's going to continue to do that if you don't exit this connection okay you're always going to have to you're always going to have to nurture yourself and also nurture this person because you're giving this person your energy all the time. And you kind of are putting yourself in a trapped situation here, okay, where you feel like you can't go anywhere. You cannot escape. You can't do anything, okay? <coughs> but 
in all honesty, you have a hell of a lot of power to do whatever you want to do. Because you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the King of Wands here. You have more than enough power to do what you need to, okay? And look, Queen of Pentacles upright. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have enough power, okay? Because I think deep down inside, you know that this connection is not, is not the right connection. That two of cups right there, okay? It may look good. It may look happy. It may look very beautiful, okay? But I think you're stuck in this illusion of trying to make something work that's not actually going to work. Okay. I feel like there's somebody else. There is somebody else, okay, who knows about your situation and who wants to help you, okay? Could be a friend, it could be a family member. There is somebody else. And if this person wants to help you, I would definitely let this person help you. Because it does seem like there is somebody here who wants to help you, okay? They want to advise you, they want to help you, they want to get you out of this. We are going to pull out some advice cards for you, okay, Taurus? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what's going on. Tauruses, advice for Tauruses, please. You need to let go okay of this connection you're finding it very hard to let go but you need to let go okay you need to let go of this connection because whatever is going on it's karmic and it's going around in circles what you're thinking is going to work is not going to work Tauruses okay so spirits guiding you and it's telling you to let go okay this person is not that person okay that you're thinking that if you make it work it will work it's not going to work this is not guided by spirit or the universe because right now you're being made to feel very unhappy okay but when you come out of this connection you're going to feel a lot better you're going to see things from outside of the box this is outside of the box you need to come out of this you really do yeah, you may feel trapped, you may feel like there's no choice, there's no movement, there's nothing that you can actually do, okay? This person might keep saying they're sorry and they want to come back in, but again, it's all bullshit, okay? This person probably isn't going to change because they chose their, they, they made their bed, they choose to lie in it, okay? And even though it is going to take a lot of time, Taurus, for you to move forward, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Because when you start to come out of all of these illusions, you then, when you come out of this, this whole situation, okay? You then will get to see clearer and you'll be outside of that box and you'll know what you need to do. My camera went off and I completely forgot what I was trying to say, but that was your advice, okay? Um, so Taurus says that's what I have for you don't forget to smash like share and subscribe I wish you all the best um, and I hope everything works out well for whoever is going through this and I'll see you guys real soon